Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Let's Pixel video. Now, I'm trying to do you, you guys' requests. So, one of the requests I got was a skeleton Let's Pixel, which I thought was a good one because um, they can be a little tricky. Not super tricky. But I thought that would be a good one, so... Let me see if I can get situated here. I've got a reference image over here that I'm going to use. Just to help improve the sprite quality. So let's create... Skeleton. And I'm going to do this one with a width of 48. And a height of... I want to go a little more than double that. 104 maybe. That might be a little too high. Maybe I'll just do double that. Wow, maybe I don't want to do double that. Maybe I want to do something like 80. That's closer. Whatever. We'll do this. We'll use this. Okay. So, uh, let's grab a color here, and I'm going to go... One thing I want to teach you guys is the difference between warm and cool colors, and maybe you already know this. But, um, these colors right about here to here, from the green to the blue range right here, are cool colors. And then for starting at this purple right here, it starts to get warm. And then in yellow, it's yellow, orange, and red are warm. And this kind of warmer purple, it's got more red in it. So I want to go with a warm color. Kind of like a tan color like this, but on the warmer side. See, as I get further this direction, it starts to feel cooler. So I want to keep it on the warm side. And very low saturation. So let's use that. And I'm going to kind of draw loose here. So we're going to come in. Okay, that's that color. There's nothing wrong with the color except that I can't see it. Oops. I guess that's better. So we're going to draw the head first. Skeletons, you want to remember, are uh, kind of made up of different segments. Bones. <laughs> Let's do a replace. You know what? I, I don't want to deal with this. So I'm going to get a color that I know I'm not going to use like this gray. And fill in all of the background here. I just want to make sure my music's not too loud. There, that's probably a little better. And that gray is actually too dark. But let's try this. There we go. Okay. Now you guys can probably see this better. So we're going to draw kind of loose here. Um, just get in some shapes. Kind of what I'm thinking. Don't know exactly what the shapes are going to be like. Uh, just need to mess around with them a bit. Uh, so we've got the head. We'll come down at the neck that and then we kind of got the shoulder um, the collarbones right here and I'm gonna switch this to a two and a line so I can start doing some arms so the collarbones are gonna come out kind of like this and then we're gonna have the arms come out like this and there's one bone going out here and two bones right here so I'm just kind of drawing that in for reference so let's go one bone here two bones here and then for for the rib cage it's gonna come up kinda like this 
in our skeleton. And behind the rib cage are the shoulder bones. And they come behind the rib cage. But we're just kind of kind of sketching the rib cage right now and leave it like that. This is kind of a big skeleton. You could scale this down, but I kind of wanted to go bigger with this one. And we've got the spine. I thought I was going to sneeze, but apparently not. And we might be able to color some of these in. We want to leave some of it not colored. Um, we're going to be erasing some of that too. Here we go. Get a nice little bone anatomy lesson. So I decided to go with very tall on this apparently. So we might need to add some canvas, not stretch, go transform, resize canvas. And I'm going to add we don't want to keep the aspect ratio. Let's make this 104, which is what I was originally going to do it. I kind of actually wanted this up at the top. Okay, and we need to add in the legs. I want to try and keep it balanced. So I'm going to draw a line right down the middle here. It's going to mess up some of my stuff, but I think it's going to be worth it to get this balanced. Um, if you hold shift when you're drawing a line, it will only let you do eight directions. Just a little tip for you there. Um, Game Maker actually doesn't have a bad sprite editor. <laughs> There's a lot of good with it. Uh, I want to kind of put this in more of an action pose, so I'm going to put this foot, this um, leg coming forward like that. And this leg kind of like that. I'm trying to see if it's balanced. We'll have our foot. Remember, there's two bones here. So I'm just indicating that by putting this in so we don't forget. And then you don't want to get into too many details right now. That's why I'm only using the That's why I'm only using the line drawer for the for the long bones because what if I want to change the way those look? If I get into a bunch of detail and commit to it, it's going to be a waste of time basically. So you can kind of see let's let's go back. Does this position look good? Does that look like a pretty good stance? Yeah, that looks pretty balanced and pretty good. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. So we're going to come back in and add some of these lines back in. Get rid of this now. Get rid of that line. Now we're probably going to start adding some detail. So I'm going to start adding to thicken up these bones just a bit. It's a little too much that direction. So I'm thickening up some of these. We'll bring those together. Kind of like that. There's a little bit more of a bump on the end of this here. For the elbow and stuff. The shoulder blades are going to come back, but I might need a lighter color for that. 
the collarbone comes out more like that kind of starts to Let's thicken this bone up just a bit these kind of cross it's interesting Always going to be learning as you draw, especially if you use references. If some people think it's bad to use references. It's not. It's really, really good to use references. So we're going to have, um, there's kind of like a middle piece right here to the rib cage that kind of connects it all. So we're going to have that. And then in the rib cage, we're going to have spaces here. Um, they're going to be a little bit tricky to get to look good. I just need to thin them up probably. That doesn't look too bad. It's a little tricky to see this. Let's come back around this way. Kind of come down and then up. Very, very interesting. So we're sort of getting these in. Okay, that's a rough, a rough kind of what the rib cage is going to look like. A little tricky to get that to look just right, but we're getting something in. And we should have that looks pretty good. Okay. It's hard not to want to just fiddle around with that. Let's start thickening these bones down here. These are going to be the ones that kind of have big knobs. And bones, they seem to kind of be thinner in the middle. Something like that. That's not looking too bad. And this bone is small. We'll only make it a little bit thicker. For the most part, we're going to be thickening this one. Like that. Man, we're getting close. This is looking good. Don't have a lot here. And let's go. Like there. For the feet, I'm not going to do anything too fancy. Because there's a. Because of how big or small this is, there would be a lot of individual little bones that there's just no way we can get that kind of detail. So I'm just going to kind of rough it in like that. Because we can't get all those details in. Do try and put the heel in. Because that will be. Uh, that will look good. 
Let's add that kind of in there. It's tricky. Is that a horn? Someone knocking or honking their horn? Something like that, maybe. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's move this guy around a bit. Move. You would not probably want to do a skeleton this large if you're thinking about animating it. I guess you could probably do a decent job using graphic scale, just rotating the individual bones around and then cleaning it up. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, I need to add a little bit to the canvas size again. Oops. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to do it 56 wide. I need this little bit for the hands because I don't have quite enough room for the hands. So for the hands, I will go into a little bit more detail. Uh, I'm going to kind of draw the, the this part of the hand right here and then draw the fingers but not really go into a bunch of detail on these and then kind of have the thumb coming out from here. It's a little tricky to get that to look right. That's not bad. Okay, let's do this hand now. And it's going to kind of come into here, so that's going to... Okay, drawing this part again. Always people forget to draw this part of the hand. They draw the fingers without this part. Your hand basically has a box on it, right here. And then your thumb comes out from the box and your fingers come out from the box. So try and draw that box, although it's at a slightly different perspective. I'm drawing the box there. And then we're going to come out with the fingers. Kind of like that. And the thumb is going to be somewhere over here. Okay, so that hand's kind of hidden inside of the rest of the skeleton, but that's okay. We've got... We'll add some lighting to kind of pull it forward. So now we're going to add some darker colors into this. This is kind of our mid-tone. Let's go uh, for darker colors. For the darker colors, we want this to cool down a bit. So I'm actually going to pull it here into the purples, kind of into the blues, actually, and go quite a bit darker. Um, and then I'm going to start drawing in other parts of the skeleton. If I can get some of this in here. They always have kind of like a triangle for their nose. Not sure this is quite large enough. That's not too bad. And then we can come in with the a little bit of... I'm not sure we'll be able to add much detail to the mouth. That looks too cheesy. Uh, it's hard to add this detail in for the mouth and the jaw. Yeah, I can't really do that. So the spine is going to be mostly dark. Have some light parts on it. Maybe kind of like that. Um, shoulder. Shoulder bone back here. It's going to be dark. Because I'm getting, I'm hitting, our light is coming from here. That's where I'm drawing the light from. So the light's going to be hitting the back of it and shading the shoulder bone. F or, yeah, the shoulder bone for sure. So shoulder bone's going to be dark. Spine is going to be dark. Except for maybe some little sections on the back of it, like the, where the light comes through just a bit. This is all going to be dark right here. Uh, 
and might get some light on this though like right there kind of like that that's how I see the light hitting it then we've got um, bone right here which is going to get mostly lit A lot of this is going to be hidden right here, but we'll get some lighting right there. Mostly that's going to be hid. Lighting on the back a little bit. Lighting on that backbone. foot is also going to be dark. Coloring a lot of this in. So, rib cage is going to see some light on this side of it, but a lot of it's going to be dark still. Uh, shoulder or collarbone's going to see some light. Kind of like that. Let's get this bone in too. Get a little bit of light on it. There. That hand is tricky to show right there, that's for sure. That's probably going to be as good as it gets. A little bit uh, sketchy there. Okay, um, this bone is going to have mostly light coming um, that's hitting the back of it. And some of the back of that, f these fingers too. Let's see if we can get the rest of this rib cage in. There's not enough detail to draw the back part of the rib, rib cage, so we just have to do it like this. Um, So we need to get the rest of this right here. Those need to be darker. Because the whole face is going to be dark. But those need to be really dark. Like that. So the whole, this whole side of the face is going to be... Kind of like that. I kind of want to lighten this up oh, just a little. Warm it up just a bit too. There we go. That feels a little bit better. And then we're going to get, so generally what happens, at least in nature, is when there's a natural light hitting something, that light has warmer colors. And then the shadow of that light, wherever the shadows are, have cooler colors like blues. So where the light's hitting, it feels warmer like reds and yellows and brighter, kind of more yellow greens. And then the shadows are like more blue greens and blue colors. So 
There's some color theory for you. I was thinking about doing the the pixel daily theme today, but it was cyborg and I didn't really want to do a cyborg. Just didn't sound that appealing to me right now, honestly. There we go. Looking pretty good. And now for the final touch, I'm going to go here and get a really kind of a brighter orange color. Lighten it up quite a bit. And add some... That's not quite bright enough, I don't think. Add some, like, highlights to this. Where the light would just barely be hitting really bright. I can use this to bring out the hand just a bit too. It's only the very brightest highlights. I really want more to this mouth, but it just doesn't feel right. The head could use some work, but I don't want to waste too much time in this. Video just messing around with the head, because I could definitely see myself doing that. Sometimes it just looks best when I don't touch it too much. Just leave it alone. You can do a few things in here like clean up these sha some of those pixels just a bit so it doesn't feel quite as sketched. Um Like coming in a little bit with these. That's not too bad. So tricky. Okay, there you go. Not gonna fiddle around with it too much more because generally I get it the best when I don't fiddle around with it too much. I'm trying to think if you could get the spine back here still. Show it a little bit better. Show some highlights on it. Give a little bit of an assemblance that there's a spine back behind this rib cage. That's not too bad. Well, thank you guys for watching this like Let's Pixel. Hopefully it was useful to you. Learned a little bit about color theory and maybe drawing a skeleton and lighting, stuff like that. I had fun with it. I'll be doing more. I do take your suggestions into account. I don't remember who exactly suggested this one, but I put it on my Trello board. 
So now when I go to do Let's Pixels, I go to my Trello board, which has ideas, and I pick from the ideas there that you guys have suggested. So if you want to put suggestions suggestions in the comments, some of the other ones that I might be doing soon is someone suggested a turtle. Another person suggested a frog. So I might be doing those within the next couple of weeks, so keep an eye out. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure and share it on Twitter and like it. Press that thumbs up button, and I will talk to you guys later.